Definition of Silver or Deposits Silver or deposits are naturally occurring accumulations of minerals from which silver can be extracted profitably. These deposits form through various geological processes and are typically found in specific geological environments. Here's a more detailed exploration of their formation, characteristics, and types. Formation and Geological Settings Silver or deposits are primarily formed through hydrothermal processes. These processes involve the movement of heated water through rocks, which dissolves minerals and transports them. When the temperature or chemical environment changes, these minerals precipitate and form or deposits. Several geological settings contribute to the formation of silver or deposits. Volcanic-related hydrothermal systems, many silver deposits are associated with volcanic activity. Magmatic processes can generate hot fluids that ascend through the Earth's crust, dissolving silver and other metals, and then depositing them in veins as the fluids cool and react with surrounding rocks. Sedimentary processes, some silver deposits form in sedimentary environments where mineral-laden waters circulate through sedimentary rocks. The silver precipitates out of solution, often along with other metals like lead and zinc, creating stratiform or bedded deposits. Metamorphic processes, silver can also be concentrated during the metamorphism of pre-existing rocks. High pressure and temperature conditions cause recrystallization of minerals, sometimes concentrating silver into economically viable deposits. Types of silver or deposits Silver or deposits can be classified into several types based on their geological characteristics. Epithermal veins, these are high-grade deposits formed at relatively shallow depths from low to moderate temperature hydrothermal fluids. They often contain rich concentrations of silver along with gold and other metals. Examples include the famous Comstock load in Nevada, USA. Polymetallic veins and replacements, these deposits often contain a mix of metals, including silver, lead, zinc, and copper. They are typically found in carbonate rocks where or minerals replace the host rock or fill fractures and cavities. The San Cristobal mine in Bolivia is an example. Sedimentary exhalative, CDEX, deposits, formed on the sea floor from hydrothermal fluids venting into the ocean, these deposits can contain significant amounts of silver along with lead and zinc. The Sullivan mine in Canada is a classic example. Volcanogenic massive sulfide, VMS, deposits, these are formed on the seafloor near volcanic centers and are characterized by massive accumulations of sulfide minerals. They often contain silver as a byproduct along with copper, zinc, and lead. The Kid Creek Mine in Ontario, Canada, is a notable example. Scarn deposits, these form at the contact zone between intrusive igneous rocks and carbonate sedimentary rocks, where intense chemical reactions between the two rock types occur. Scarns can be rich in silver and other metals, depending on the composition of the original rocks and the invading fluids. Mineralogy and Extraction Silver is typically found in or bodies in association with sulfides such as argentite, AG2S, and in combination with other metals like galena, PBS, sphalerite, ZNS, and chalcopyrite, CUFAS2. Native silver, although rare, can also be found in some deposits. The extraction and processing of silver ores involve several steps. Mining, the physical removal of the ore from the ground, which can be done through underground or open pit mining methods. Crushing and grinding, the ore is crushed and ground to liberate the silver-bearing minerals from the surrounding rock. Concentration, various methods, including flotation and gravity separation, are used to concentrate the silver minerals. Extraction, the concentrated ore is then treated with chemicals, such as cyanide or mercury, to extract the silver. Cyanidation is the most common method, where silver is dissolved in a cyanide solution and then precipitated out. Economic and Environmental Considerations The profitability of mining silver or deposits depends on several factors, including the concentration of silver in the ore, the cost of extraction, and market prices for silver. 
silver mining can have significant environmental impacts, including habitat destruction, water pollution, and the generation of waste materials. Modern mining practices aim to mitigate these impacts through environmental management and remediation techniques. In summary, silver ore deposits are geologically complex formations that have significant economic value. Their study and extraction require a deep understanding of geology, mineralogy, and metallurgical processes, as well as careful consideration of environmental and economic factors. Formation of silver ore deposits Silver ore deposits are intricate geological formations that result from various complex geological processes occurring over millions of years. These deposits are typically formed in specific geological settings that favor the concentration of silver-bearing minerals. The primary processes responsible for the formation of silver ore deposits include hydrothermal activity, magmatic differentiation, sedimentary processes, and metamorphic transformations. Let's delve into each of these processes in detail. Hydrothermal activity Hydrothermal activity is the most common mechanism for the formation of silver ore deposits. This process involves the circulation of hot, aqueous fluids through the Earth's crust. These fluids originate from several sources, including magmatic intrusions, metamorphic reactions, and deep basinal brines. As these fluids move through the crust, they dissolve various metals, including silver, from the surrounding rocks. Fluid migration the hydrothermal fluids migrate through fractures, faults, and porous rocks. These pathways facilitate the transport of dissolved metals. Temperature and pressure changes, as the fluids ascend toward the surface, they encounter cooler temperatures and lower pressures. These changes cause the dissolved metals to precipitate out of the solution and form mineral deposits. Chemical reactions, Interaction with different types of rocks and other fluids can cause chemical reactions that lead to the precipitation of silver-bearing minerals. For example, the mixing of oxidized and reduced fluids can trigger the deposition of silver sulfides. Epithermal vein deposits One specific type of hydrothermal deposit is the epithermal vein deposit, formed at shallow depths, less than 1.5 km, from low to moderate temperature hydrothermal fluids, 50 to 300 degrees Celsius. These deposits are often associated with volcanic activity and are characterized by veins of quartz and other minerals containing high concentrations of silver. Examples include the famous Comstock Lode in Nevada and the Pachucarril del Monte district in Mexico. Magmatic differentiation. Magmatic differentiation is another key process in the formation of silver or deposits. This process involves the crystallization and segregation of different minerals from a cooling magma. As the magma cools, heavier minerals crystallize first and settle at the bottom of the magma chamber, while lighter minerals remain in the liquid phase. Fractional crystallization, this process can concentrate silver and other metals in the residual melt. The residual melt, enriched in volatiles and metals, can form or deposits if it intrudes into the surrounding rocks. Scarn deposits. Scarns are a specific type of deposit formed when magmatic fluids interact with carbonate rocks, causing intense chemical reactions that precipitate minerals. These deposits often contain a mix of metals, including silver, copper, and lead. Examples include the Bingham Canyon Mine in Utah. Sedimentary processes. Sedimentary processes also contribute to the formation of silver or deposits, although less commonly than hydrothermal and magmatic processes. These deposits form through the concentration of minerals in sedimentary environments. Bedded and stratiform deposits, these deposits form when mineral-laden waters circulate through sedimentary rocks, precipitating metals in layers. Silver can be concentrated along with lead, zinc, and copper in these deposits. Sedimentary exhalative deposits, formed on ancient sea floors by the venting of hydrothermal fluids into marine basins, these deposits create layers of sulfide minerals rich in silver, lead, and zinc. The Sullivan Mine in British Columbia, Canada, is a classic example. Metamorphic processes Metamorphic processes involve the alteration of existing rocks through heat, 
pressure, and chemically active fluids. These processes can concentrate silver and other metals by causing the recrystallization of minerals. Regional metamorphism, large-scale tectonic forces can cause widespread metamorphism, altering the mineralogy of extensive rock masses and potentially concentrating metals like silver. Contact metamorphism, occurs when rocks are heated by nearby magmatic intrusions, causing localized recrystallization and the formation of mineral deposits. Types of silver-bearing minerals Silver is typically found in several mineral forms, each associated with different types of or deposits. The most common silver-bearing minerals include Argentite, a silver sulfide mineral commonly found in hydrothermal veins. Native silver AG, pure silver metal, which is rare but found in some deposits. Galena, a lead sulfide mineral that often contains significant amounts of silver. Sphalerite, a zinc sulfide mineral that can also host silver. Chalcopyrite, a copper iron sulfide mineral that sometimes contains silver. Extraction and economic considerations. The economic viability of silver mining depends on the concentration of silver in the ore, the ease of extraction, and market prices. Modern mining techniques involve several steps to extract silver. Mining, extracting the ore from the ground using underground or open pit methods. Crushing and grinding, reducing the ore to small particles to liberate the silver minerals. Concentration, using flotation, gravity separation, or other methods to concentrate the silver-bearing minerals. Extraction, applying chemical processes, such as cyanidation, to dissolve and recover silver from the concentrated ore. Environmental considerations are crucial in silver mining due to the potential impacts on ecosystems and water quality. Responsible mining practices and remediation efforts are essential to minimize these impacts. In summary, the formation of silver or deposits is a complex interplay of geological processes that concentrate silver into economically viable concentrations. Understanding these processes provides valuable insights into locating and efficiently extracting these precious resources. Properties of silver or deposits Silver or deposits are characterized by various physical, chemical, and geological properties that influence their formation, extraction, and economic value. These properties include the mineralogical composition, texture, structure, and the geochemical environment in which the deposits form. Understanding these properties is crucial for exploration, mining, and processing of silver ores. Here is an in-depth look at the properties of silver ore deposits. Mineralogical Composition the mineralogical composition of silver or deposits determines the types of minerals present and their relative abundances. Silver typically occurs in several mineral forms, often in association with other metals. Primary silver minerals Argentite, a soft, dark gray to black silver sulfide mineral commonly found in hydrothermal veins. It has a metallic luster and a high silver content. Native silver pure metallic silver, which is relatively rare. It appears as bright metallic silver, often in dendritic or wire-like forms. Proustite and pyrargyrite, red to dark red silver sulfa salts that occur in low-temperature hydrothermal veins. Secondary silver minerals. Sirargyrite, also known as horn silver, it is a secondary mineral formed by the oxidation of primary silver minerals. It appears waxy and is usually found near the surface. Stephanite, a silver antimony sulfide mineral that forms under low temperature conditions. Associated minerals Galena, lead sulfide, often hosting significant amounts of silver in its crystal lattice. Sphalerite, zinc sulfide, which can contain trace amounts of silver. Chalcopyrite, copper iron sulfide that sometimes contains silver. Textural and Structural Properties The texture and structure of silver or deposits are influenced by the geological processes that form them. These properties include the size, shape, and arrangement of mineral grains and the physical features of the host rocks. Vein Textures Crustiform and coliform banding, 
these textures are typical in epithermal veins, where minerals precipitate in successive layers, creating banded appearances. Brecciation, fracturing and fragmentation of host rocks, often filled with silver-bearing minerals, forming breccia textures. Open space filling, deposition of minerals in open cavities and fractures, common in hydrothermal veins. Massive and disseminated textures. Massive or, large, homogeneous masses of silver-bearing minerals, typically found in SCARN and VMS deposits. Disseminated or, fine-grained minerals scattered throughout the host rock, typical of some sedimentary and epithermal deposits. Geochemical properties. The geochemical environment plays a crucial role in the concentration and deposition of silver. Key geochemical properties include Fluid chemistry, the composition of hydrothermal fluids, including temperature, pH, and redox conditions, affects the solubility and precipitation of silver. Temperature and pressure, higher temperatures and pressures can increase the solubility of silver in hydrothermal fluids, facilitating its transport and later precipitation as the fluids cool and depressurize. pH and redox conditions, Acidic conditions and changes in oxidation states can lead to the precipitation of silver from solution. For instance, reducing conditions favor the formation of silver sulfides. Host rock interaction, the chemical composition of the host rocks can influence the deposition of silver minerals. Carbonate rocks, scarn deposits often form when magmatic fluids interact with carbonate rocks, leading to intense metasomatic reactions that precipitate silver and other metals. Siliciclastic rocks, these rocks can act as both sources and traps for hydrothermal fluids, influencing the formation of silver-bearing minerals. Economic properties. The economic viability of silver or deposits is determined by several factors, including the concentration of silver, the presence of other valuable metals, and the cost of extraction and processing. Grade and tonnage, the grade refers to the concentration of silver in the ore, typically measured in grams per ton, g t Higher grade deposits are more economically attractive. Tonnage refers to the total quantity of ore available, influencing the scale of mining operations. Metal associations, silver is often found in association with other metals such as gold, lead, zinc, and copper. These associations can enhance the economic value of the deposit if the byproducts are also recoverable and marketable. Accessibility and infrastructure, the location of the deposit relative to infrastructure such as roads, power supplies, and processing facilities affects the cost of mining and transporting the ore. Market conditions, the price of silver and associated metals on the global market impacts the profitability of mining operations. Fluctuating prices can influence investment decisions and the viability of marginal deposits. Environmental and regulatory considerations. Environmental properties and regulatory frameworks are increasingly important in the evaluation of silver or deposits. Responsible mining practices and compliance with environmental regulations are crucial for sustainable development. Environmental impact. Mining activities can have significant impacts on local ecosystems, including habitat destruction, water pollution, and the generation of waste materials. Modern practices aim to minimize these impacts through careful planning and mitigation strategies. Regulatory compliance Mining companies must adhere to local, national, and international regulations regarding environmental protection, land use, and community engagement. Compliance ensures the long-term sustainability of mining operations and the well-being of affected communities. Summary In summary, the properties of silver or deposits encompass a wide range of mineralogical, textural, structural, geochemical, economic, and environmental factors. Understanding these properties is essential for the effective exploration, extraction, and processing of silver. The complex interplay of geological processes that form silver deposits results in diverse types and characteristics, each presenting unique opportunities and challenges for mining and economic exploitation.